small teaching apiary. There have been bees at the outback for years, but um, more or less successfully because students come and go and the community members come and go. And we wanted to do something that was sustainable and that was a long-term effort. So we picked a spot and we designed, we landscaped to suit um, a small apiary of half a dozen hives. We have three hives now and we might get to four or five, perhaps six this summer, and then we're gonna stay at that level. So that's my goal, is to get student beekeepers who can work independently here. And we're not there yet, um, but on the other hand, we've kind of really just, in beekeeping terms, we've kind of just started, so. So my name is Roby Ventress Paik. I'm, I'm a senior here at Western, and I'm studying environmental science. Michael and I have been working on this project since 2012 and it's been really exciting for me to learn um, and also to begin to pass on some of the skills that I've gained and to see that we have what's becoming a really successful apiary here. It's been great to see this spring having weekly meetings and getting students out here and we have more and more equipment and I think we're, we're really reaching a point where we can provide beekeeping education to more students here. The main uh, reason for having the, the hives here, an apiary here, is the Outback is a very, very, very long-term project, historically. And it's, um, it's a joint effort between community and students because there are pollination needs here, a lot of pollination needs, and because we have an orchard here and we have all kinds of other things. Um, bees are the perfect thing to have here. The things for the students to pick up here um, are the, the basic principles of beekeeping, which is not an easy learning curve. <laughs> it's, uh, they're complex, very complex bugs, because as with politics, all beekeeping is local. And this is a very unique setting for bees. Oftentimes bees are kept in wide open spaces. And this is a little valley all its own, and um, that presents some interesting uh, so problems and, and we're trying to find solutions. Today we're going to be uh, hopefully splitting some of these hives. Uh, the population of bees is building up very quickly um, now. If they get too uh, populated, they'll swarm. And then uh, more than half of your bees fly away. So we're going to be looking into the hives to see if they're ready to be split. Um, and then I brought equipment today so that we can put them into smaller uh, starter beehives. The, the Western community has been very receptive to the idea. So we're hoping it goes like this, <laughs> grows. Not the bees, bees, six hives is enough, but um, just the, uh, the notoriety, uh, I hope, kind of takes off. And,